The heating system should be turned off two to three days before the laminate flooring application. A 120 gram dual layer craft cardboard is used for heated floor systems. Before installing the flooring, the boxes of laminate that are going to be used should be left in the application setting stacked neatly on the flat floor for 48 hours. The moisture environment where the flooring will be installed should be maximum of 55% to 65%. The temperature of the floor should be minimum 15 degrees Celsius, maximum 28 degrees Celsius. Objects that cause level discrepancies in the floor should be removed completely and surface leveling should be performed. Differences should not exceed one millimeter. The flooring should be installed in the area to be applied parallel to the long wall with consideration for daylight and air circulation. Faulty or damaged flooring should not be used. An underlayment, polyethylene blanket folio 0.2 millimeters thick, should be spread over the application area. The underlayment should be overlapping by 20 centimeters with the joints tapped. Minimum of 1.5 centimeters, 15 millimeter, gaps must be left between the wall and flooring, as explained in our manual. During the installation process, and gap wedges must be used. Also in cases where the wall is the full length of the flooring, the tips of the parquet must be double cut and installed appropriate to the wall length. Both ends of the flooring need to be at the same distance to the wall. Start the installation from the left corner of the area to be applied. Lock the male click portion of the head of the second panel into the first row by moving down at a 20 degree angle. After installing the entire first row, move into the second row. One whole flooring piece should be cut according to a measurement taken up to the wall on the right side of the first row of parquet to be installed in this short heading. The second row is started with a half parquet or the piece left from the first row. The flooring has two types of locking systems. First, when starting from the second row, after placing the first row, the top parts of the second panel should be placed by forming a 45 degree angle with the floor. Before completing this process, a third panel is placed with the help of an assisting wedge placed at the bottom part of the first row. This process is continued until the end of the wall. Afterwards, the assisting wedges are taken out, starting with the first row. First, the tips of the panels are pushed forward by pounding with your palms. Then the middle parts of the panel are positioned with the same action. This is continued until the last panel. Do not use a hammer, silicone and nails during application. When doing this application, a 15 millimeter gap should be left around doors, just like it has been left at the wall edges. Fix skirting to the wall and do not nail it into the flooring. Do not obstruct the extending and stretching movement of the flooring in response to the moisture in the air. These are not suitable for installing in wet areas like bathrooms, saunas, or showers. Glues, screwdrivers, 
nails and similar tools should not be used on the parquet. When doing the application parallel to the long wall, if the length of the installation area exceeds 10 meters, a profile should be used and a 15 millimeter gap should be left while continuing the process. Similarly, in widths that exceed 8 meters, a profile should be used in 8 meters, leaving a 15 millimeter gap before continuing the process. The area around radiator pipes should not be filled with substances like silicone, plaster, and cement. The diameter of the gap that should be left around radiator pipes during installation should be 30 millimeters more than the diameter of the pipe. Cover these gaps with suitable caps and fix them to the radiator pipe.